you're somewhere you need to be. What are you uh, talking you about, Steffi? No, no, it's just my father and Carter. They had another meeting, so I assumed that you. So I guess I should be on my way as well. Look, uh, Steffi, I know you're not thrilled about your father's idea of rebooting the veteran line. Honestly, no, but I am a professional and I will make the best decisions for this company. And threatening That's to not your decision, future, dear. Isn't one of them. Look, I am more concerned about Hope than her line. Specifically, her spending so much time with my husband. Yeah. Well, maybe you weren't such a biatch. He wouldn't. <sighs> Legitimately concerned about Hope? What's there to be concerned about? Find it a little strange. I can't Dr. believe Friend. how everything changed me recently. It's like, sure. am I really living here? <laughs> it's like when sure. Sheila moved how in, crazy. how drastically she changed I, her looks. Everything changed for me overnight. I have a co-parent now who insisted we oh, move damn. into his house. His unbelievably <laughs> ginormous house. Well, don't get used to it. She's been going on and on about that. I want to whisk you away, remember? My yacht? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. What was her name again? It was the, uh, the Stella... Stella Morris. Can't wait for you to see her. Me neither. It's like I walked into a dream. And to think how differently life would have been if you and I had met up again years earlier. Yeah. You could have raised Luna together. It's just the thought of it. Maybe. You might not well, have welcomed it so mind. eagerly before. The thought of what's to come. But it's coming. Sorry. Sorry. Of course, it's Katie. Guard shot, just walked right in. Just walked in. Katie, Katie. Hi. Just walked in the house. Congratulations are in order. Another jealous one we got here. Just trying to kind of understand why you wouldn't want to track him down, but you've been reacquainted for a while. Yes, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, right. Right, but you suspected? I asked Poppy about it. Probably start about the timing together, but she denied it. Yeah, I don't get that. Why would you do that? She was afraid. Afraid of what? Her love for me. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear me, Brooke? That. I'm not comfortable with your daughter spending so much time with my husband. Well, she's a grown woman. I think you're woman. taking it too far. You can do whatever she wants. You can't go tell her mommy. Okay, if anyone thinks she, she gonna should do, be out of prison, should be banned. Period. Yeah, the end. Logan, Logan, Logan. I don't think Hope was saying that. Okay. She was just saying that. it's possible that Sheila's changed. Keeping an open mind isn't like being her advocate. Would you keep an open mind? No. Never. Of course not, because you know Sheila is a psychopath. Look, if you want to be friends with Sin, Why fine. Why do you have to yell at care, everybody? Not, not when she's being manipulated by Deacon and Sheila. I don't want her anywhere near Finn. I don't want her influence on him. The last thing I need is hope to get into my husband's head. Look how he's looking at her. Tell me he ain't thinking the same thing. Maybe you think it's too soon, no, but... No, I, I didn't say that. I mean, I'm not judging. It's just some... It's just some... Already, already using the L oh, word, she says. Well. He's a remarkable man. I'm the father of my child. And your new roomie. I hear that you asked Luna and Poppy to move in. Your new Indeed. roomie. You're ready for that. Wouldn't have asked otherwise. Well, look at you. Mental, Katie. Whole new family. Uh, they might ask to talk to her privately, but he put his arm around. Thought he Poppy might ask Poppy. Finn Look how she's looking at Katie, too. She's got mother. something up her sleeve. I know. Hope wants to get in his ear and say, you have to give your birth mother a chance. Like, that is absolutely ridiculous. Hey, hey, Steffi. That's over. That, I would agree Everybody's with you. Nobody's even talking about that. I haven't heard her say anything of the kind. She's no, I haven't either. It. All this talk of how no, she was not. changed. Maybe she's changed. She doesn't changed. even mention Sheila's name all week. she said. Oh, it's a slippery slope, Brooke. Sheila is on her best That's not really what she's not. That's not really what Steffi's not about. To her this way. But the second Sheila slips up and does something stupid, of course they're not going to trust her. So what are we supposed to do? Just sit around and wait for something terrible to happen? Sheila so hasn't even hurt? been around anybody. Someone could die what are you and talking about? Something happens to Hope or Beth. 
That is why you need to talk to your daughter. I mean, her mother. She will listen to you. You just gotta get through to her. There's you nothing to talk to her, her about. You better you. worry about your husband having an affair. Not her talking about Sheila. Look at his eyes. Oh, he knows. He's heading out the door quickly. Yep. Better watch it. Katie, I was planning on telling you about Poppy moving in. It wasn't my intention wasn't to keep it a secret. Well, well, you don't owe me an explanation. I mean, it's not really in my business. I just, I was a You've bit taken aback when I walked in here the other day and found Poppy and Luna making themselves right at home. Uh, well, it, it is definitely your business. It affects Will. And I yeah. Luna's really looking forward to meeting her brother. Well, I'm sure he'll be looking forward to meeting Luna after he gets over the shock. I don't think it'll be <laughs> that I'm, bad for him. Still getting over the shock myself. I mean, jealousy. I have what a daughter. Problem is. What daughter. Her problem is. Yeah, I get it. So all thanks to Bobby. Thanks to Bobby. Mm. And then she gives Katie a look. To home. Tell her. That this is insane. That she is being manipulated by Sheila and Deacon. And this situation she hasn't should be even really seen dangerous. them. She needs to think about her family. What I mean, are you that's even talking doing. about? That's why I don't want hope anywhere. Do you have a job to do or thin. something? Can you just you get no to talk some sense into hope? Just tell her you will. This is so sad. So oh. My God. I said, this is Stephanie's husband you're talking about. No, and I'm not going after him, Mom. I'm not. He, he happens to be one of the best men I've ever met. You can't knowingly go after Stephanie's I'm husband. Not. Just feel free. This could get out of hand without you even intending to. Just be careful. Let your heart roll your head. I am trying, Stephanie. Believe me. It's a little more complicated than you think. Yeah. She thinks it's all about Sheila. She ain't been talking to nobody. I don't think they went anywhere. They've been holding up in the apartment, I think. Uh, I don't know, just continue to prove that you're such an incredible man. So think. You better just start looking in a different direction. He's taken. Don't look very loyal. Dedicated. Mm -hmm. Knock at the door or something. Yeah. Coming up next. Going back because you're engaged. What the hell, Thomas? Paris Buckingham. Paris. Paris. What the hell? What the heck did you end up with Paris? Hope's optimism is commendable, but... Wow.